Hi, in this video I'll give a very brief introduction to the counting methods used in the AMC. Now each AMC exam usually has about two to four questions involving counting, of which about one to two questions are pure counting problems that involve one or more of the basic concepts shown below. The first concept is the addition principle, which has to do with dividing a set into two or more subsets and counting up the pieces. The math is quite simple, but identifying the appropriate subsets can be quite tricky. The second concept is the multiplication principle, which comes in handy for any multi-step counting process. If we can identify the number of choices available at each step in the process, we can often multiply the numbers together to compute the total number of ways that all the choices can be made in combination. For example, if we're tossing one coin and two dice and want to compute the number of all possible outcomes, we can view this as a multi-step counting process with the coin, die number one, and die number two, and multiply the ways that each of these steps can occur. So the coin can be tossed in two possible ways, the first die can be tossed in six possible ways, and the second die can also be tossed in six possible ways. And the total number of combinations of these choices is given simply by 2 times 6 times 6, which is 72. Now the permutation and the combination are basically two specialized applications of the multiplication principle. They come up frequently in counting problems, so they get their own names. A simple example of the permutation is selecting three runners from a set of five distinct runners and awarding the gold, silver, and bronze medals. The number of ways that this can be done is easily calculated as five times four times three, which is equal to 60. A simple example of the combination is similar to the permutation, but now we don't care about the order of the metals. Only the number of ways to se select a subset of three runners from the set of five distinct runners. This too is easily calculated as five times four times three divided by one times two times three, and that's equal to 10. And finally, the probability of an event can often be calculated as the ratio of two counting results. The number of event outcomes of interest divided by the number of all possible outcomes. A simple example is tossing three coins and finding the probability of getting exactly two heads. Now for three coins, we can easily list all possible equiprobable outcomes as 0, 0, 0 for all tails, 0, 0, 1 for two tails and one head, and continuing is just like count, counting in binary. And we find that the number of all possible outcomes is eight, and three of these outcomes have exactly two heads, so the probability that we seek is simply three divided by eight. Now the counting methods may seem simple in the way that I've described them. And in fact, the math is quite simple with uh, little to actually remember. However, applying these methods correctly in the AMC is tricky and requires a good bit of practice. So check out the practice problem set in the description section, along with the playlist linked in this video. So good luck with that and I'll see you at the next video. Take care, bye.